Hi, this is Dr. Tom again, and I'm talking about the HCG diet, and I thought today I would just briefly address uh, uh, type 2 diabetes, whether it's insulin dependent or non-insulin dependent. Um, I was just talking with my, my colleague, as a matter of fact, Dr. Lisa, about uh, this study that had done by, done by bariatric surgeons who were placing bands. And basically, the study consisted of a number of patients uh, who half of the patients were were banded for that were they were found to have uh, to have clinically obesity to be type two diabetics, and it was going to be a two year study. They banded half of the patients, and the other half of the patients they treated them with dietary changes, lifestyle changes, exercise, frequent monitoring, and then used medications, whether they're oral medications or injections of insulin, and they followed these people for two years keeping in mind that the cost of putting in a band, at least according to this study, was as little as $17,000 in as much as $24,000. So what they did is they looked at the cost effectiveness of both treatments in the treatment of diabetes. The people who did not undergo the banding and who underwent conventional treatment for a two-year period had barely a 10% improvement in their diabetes, in fact had no cure of their diabetes whatsoever. They lost less than 5% of their body weight based upon what we've been telling people for three decades. The other thing is, is that the thousands of dollars a year, four to $8,000 a year to take care of a diabetic is what it costs over the two year period. The band on the other hand, these people lost 20% of their weight. So for instance, if you weighed 300 pounds, you lost 60 pounds in two years. 250 pounds, perhaps you lost 50 pounds in two years. Now that's not a very large amount of weight loss. However, what's astonishing about the study is that 73% of the diabetes was cured in those people who lost their 20% weight loss in the band.